Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, we just got done defeating the giant spider, which I am very glad for. And we're gonna see if we can catch up to G. And with that, let's get to it. I did it. Oh, I got a lot out of that one. Yep, it. level up. Oh, you level up. Just yep. getting started. Just, 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 yep, just keep leveling up. Crescent shell can now be used. Strengthens allies with the crescent moon's power. Oh, nice. And uh, as always, if you guys like this video or this series, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. That should suffice. Yes, everyone is leveling up. Everyone. Is that familiar? Whew, that was a toughie. True, but at least we've neutralized the threat. Yeah, but unfortunately that man with the glasses got away. Consider the situation. I don't believe that there was much we could have done. So what, what's it going to be? You can make this easier on yourselves and surrender or... Grrr. Oh, alright, but we demand guarantee our safety. Hmm, you're hardly in position to demand anything. If their capture is enough to avert a war, then so be it. Anyway, let's contact my grandfather on Arcus. He should be able to get in touch with Zendergy for us. Indeed, we have to let the Lieutenant General know that we caught them. Hmm, I wonder if they'll make it in time. Same day, 1500. Oh, dang, they are ready. They're like, bring it. Sir, I have bad news. We've contacted the Repel Army about the group we have here, but they're unconvinced that they were responsible. Hmm, I can't say that I blame them. It sounds as though they sustained far greater damage than we did. Still, does that mean the Repel Army is preparing to attack? Unfortunately, so. I believe one of their armored airborne divisions has completed battle preparations. At this rate, an armed conflict may be inevitable. No. If only we could find a way to negotiate with them. Hmm. Did you manage to get anything out of those guys you captured? Like who that guy in the glasses who ran off was? No, we know they were paid very well, but were kept largely in the dark about their client and objectives. By the way, who are you? Oh, me? Yeah, just who are you anyway? That man in the glasses called you one of the children. I also remember something about a silver puppeteer and a white rabbit or something like that. Hmm, very suspicious. Now, yeah, now. Hmm. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I'm not really supposed to tell him about my affiliation. Your what? Affiliation? Wait, are you? You're probably dead on. Yay! You finally came! Who are you? I thought you were never gonna show up, Letcher. Sorry, sorry. I have some things to take care of in Crossbell. Sort of out in office for the scary people? Yeah, pretty much. Who are you? Hmm, sitting inside the lab uniform. I'm assuming you're also a member of the military. That's correct, sir. Letcher Arnoldal. I'm Captain Letcher Renato of the Imperial Intelligence Division. I've come to assume responsibility for the negotiations with the Republican Army. What? The Intelligence Division? So you must be... Hmm, so you're Captain Letcher. If what I've heard is true, it sounds like the situation will be in good hands. Negotiations with the Republican government are already underway. It will be in all our best interest to avoid unsuited conflict, especially with the trade conference only two months away. His Excellency, the Chancellor, is on the same opinion. I see. I should have known the Blood and Iron Chancellor's name would be 
surface sooner or later. So, that's the stance of the former fashion's leader? His face might make will make you wake up in a cold sweat, but he's pretty fun for an old guy, really. Anyway, just leave this to us. We'll have a sword out in no time. So I'm like you've been taking good little care of the little pipsqueak for us too. Cheers, guys. Boo! I'm not a pipsqueak! Oh well, bye bye everyone! It was fun getting to know you all. Hope you can see each other again sometime. Hold on. Well, where? Well, there they go. Isn't the Untouched Division the branch of the Imperial Armist Council for gathering process information? Hmm, they're not as upright as their name might suggest. They deal more in espionage than intelligence gathering. The Brutal Armists fear them as much as they do the Railroad Military Police. Figured as much. I just can't believe a child like her is part of the army. Hmm, I see. So she's one of the Iron Bloods. Sir? That's quite an imposing name. The Iron Bloods are said to be a group of youths with high intelligence special abilities taken by the Chancellor. They work with the Intelligence Division and Railway Military Police, but they answer to him, or so the rumor goes. I wouldn't have dreamed their ranks ran quite as young as that girl looked, though. She hardly seems suited in the life of the military squad. Yeah, there's something that doesn't feel right about it. Still, it looks like we might yet be able to avert a war with Calvar. Are you serious? I've heard many rumors about the Captain Lecher Scarecrow, as is known by some. I'm given to understand he succeeded in almost every unofficial negotiation he's undertaken, and if even the Chancellor himself is taking action, success seems almost guaranteed. Third armor should stand down to alert level 2. All airships return on patrol are to return to Zenica at once. Yes, sir. So we averted war! Yay! Oh, we right off right next to the sunset. Same day, 1900. Uh, are we about to see the villains again? Maybe. I'm just guessing. Oh, this is some evil music. Yep! G. Precisely on time. What? Comrade G, you've done well. He did? I was Dark Vader. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world 
that stage. Fuck up. That's the spirit. What are you doing there? Oh boy. At least all's well that ends well, right? Why are you just conveniently there? Why are you hiding behind rocks? Why are you in the highlands? What have you been up to? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. God damn, they make airships too? The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> Sharon? <gasps> it is Sharon! You really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. Man, they're both just watching the bad guys like, mm-hmm. Yeah, we got you. I'm Pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation though, just for a second. Makes me think back to this one time two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know then where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least not in the official file. <laughs> Sounds like Reinford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's alright. What do you think the reaction is going to be when you both just conveniently show up at the village? Like, hi, we came to check up on you. Coincidentally, right after you almost went into War with Cavard. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, no. They're gonna look at you both so oddly. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. She already knows. She's like, I'm about to get yelled at. <laughs> Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. They're over there playing ninja. Thank you for everything. I'm so grateful for the kindness you've shown us. I'll never forget all these things I've seen and learned here. Indeed, I feel as though I've gained something truly valuable. <laughs> it makes me happy to hear that. Bro, read, use this. <laughs> Come on now, Lily, don't cry. Lily, Toma. Thanks for all you've done. You have my thanks as well. It was a pleasure meeting you. I'll return again when I have the opportunity. Until then, you gotta take care of everyone here for me, Toma. Leave it to me. Melissa, Emma, thank you so much. It was great getting to know you. Oh, I hope we'll have another chance to discuss sweets and fashion again someday. Thank you again for the wonderful tea recipe. It may take me a while, but I hope that one day I'll be able to make it as warm and as aromatic as you do. <laughs> I know you'll be able to do it! <laughs> it seems this has been quite an experience for them. Indeed it is. Still, Sharon's as attractive as ever. But you're quite the body food yourself, instructor. What is wrong with him? Grandpa, stop! <laughs> Oh my, aren't you the charmer? If only you were a little younger, you'd be just my type. Instructor! <laughs> and 
And Grandfather, at least try to be serious this once. Sorry, sorry. Can't help myself sometimes. Anyway, to be serious for a moment here, it would seem you made a discovery of your own. Yes. I think I finally understand why you left the Redford Company when you did. Is that so? You've been with me ever since I was a child, so I think I know as well as anyone how much you've given to the company. Because of that, I w it was in order for me to understand why you would just turn your back and let Mother take over. But now I think I finally understand. You left because you truly loved the Renfro Company, didn't you? Precisely. Since the Orbital Revolution, the Renfro Company has created the technology that has defined people's modern lives. From railways to heating, or cars to airships, even tanks and guns. I regret none of them. What I did regret, however, were the railroad guns built five years ago. I thought so. With my apologies to Lieutenant General, those railroad guns are little more than instruments of mass murder. With their innate limits and range of deployment, they have no real straight value in war. Their sole purpose is a weapon of mass destruction, designed to effectively hold the ends of people crossbow hostage. In other words, to stop a potential Republican army invasion before it starts. Nothing more, nothing less. It's an unpleasant truth to acknowledge, but I have no rebuttal. My daughter may have signed off on the project, but as the one who saw them completed, I was terrified at what we made. I fear that somewhere along the way, we have sold our principles and our souls as craftsmen to the highest bidder. When my daughter took over the company chair, I super early to take a step back from Rainford and really think about, we, about where we've gone wrong, about how we come to this point, how to make things right. So that was why, that you probably don't have any intention of returning soon. I'm afraid not. All that's happened in the past few years has only strengthened my resolve. The company's environment, my daughter's leadership of it, things have changed too much. For now, I'll let her take care of things from the inside. As for me, I'll do what I can from the outside to help the company find its way forward. That's the coin. <laughs> I think Thor's movie carrying is a fine place for you to be right now. Huh? No doubt there are still many obstacles lying ahead for you, but when you put your head together with such a diverse group, you're bound to see things you might not have otherwise, just like you did while you were here. Maybe right. I'll do what I can to try and see things from a different perspective than both you and Mother. Both as a member of whatever family, and more importantly, because I owe it to myself. Proud to hear it. Green, Gaius, Eusis, Emma. You'll take care of her for me, for me now, won't you? Of course. <laughs> Leave it to us. We'd be happy to. <laughs> Very well. Grandfather, stop it! I'd love it if Sharon could stay here with me a bit longer, though. I don't suppose I could tempt you to look after me for a while instead, could I? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I have to return to my duties as Class Sims caretaker. <gasps> My poor heart! <laughs> He's so dramatic! <laughs> Grandfather, please! <laughs> it's almost time for the train to depart. You should begin making your way over to the platform. Thank you. Take care, Lieutenant General. Bye, everyone! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> May the wind and the goddess always guide your path. <laughs> He's still depressed in the corner! <laughs> Farewell. I look forward to meeting again someday. Goodbye. Thank you for everything! July 2nd calendar, 1204. Valfram Palace, Heimdall. Uh oh, what's happening in Heimdall? Oh no, it's evil music. Who has them from the house? Is this where the royals live? Chancellor's office. Oh, okay. Big man himself. We finally get to see him. Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. 
The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible for the attack as part of their terms. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conflicts on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. He sounds like a villain himself, like he sounds evil. Is it just me? Our next concern is the upcoming summer festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Iron Bloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milium to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the summer festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. <laughs> he sounds like such a nerd. Coming in! Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. I'm going to see my theory on who this is. But until I see a name, I'm not going to say anything. No, it's quite alright. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Iron Bloods continue to do some fine work, especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree, Imperial Governor Carl Reynolds. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! It's it's freaking Montes' dad! They oh my god! I knew the moment that I was like, I'm suspicious. I'm looking at the hair and the glasses, and I'm just like, this could this be his dad? But it is, it's Marcus' dad! I was right on point! The feeling's mutual. Why did I think that he was going to be like gruffer looking for some reason? I don't know why. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. Yes, we already knew this was the Chancellor. That was no surprise. Of course. To me at least. That's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name. Is that Rufus talking? It's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. 
I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic. Oh, it's not. Of course. Um, I've never seen these two. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Ermaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? I don't know what's going on in the family, but as far as I know, when it comes to royalty, isn't like the oldest gets the throne first, unless they, unless they don't want it or, or they've done something bad and then it's taken to like the second and then so on and so forth. But he's like, what, getting it? He looks like the younger one, so we're like he's getting it automatically. <laughs> you know. Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But, on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? I know, right? Ah, oh, there she is. Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed. They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival. But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15. It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. <laughs> be more of a man at these parties. Come on. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, no. Come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? 
Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really My, my. It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. <laughs> yeah, they're like, who is this person? Who is this man? My suspicions is... It's gonna be Rain. For some reason. That's... That's... That's my theory, that she's gonna come to and like, I've heard so much from you from your sister. I would really love it if you would dance with me on this freaking festival, please! You're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver? I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. Ah, oh, we're at the sister's school. They have a unicorn as their symbol and mascot. That is so adorable. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how her highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? Your own sister. What? <laughs> what? What's in the letter? What did he write? What what was in it? I want to know. What made you so freaking upset? Mid July. I was about to talk. <laughs> okay. Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short sleeved shirts. months of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, that we saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm up. Oh, we're going swimming today? I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen? Elisa? Would you care to give us a demonstration? No! <laughs> Don't do this to us! Uh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on, guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? Uh. He's a. Uh, no. Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. Yeah, she's like a freaking mermaid. Like, 
He swims so freaking fast. I remember this. I like how everyone's a natural swimmer. I can I can only doggy nice. paddle. <laughs> I am not very good at swimming at all. Everyone's just a natural in this Ready game, apparently. And go. You're next, Emma. Ready? Go! Wow, look at guys go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Yeah. She was a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. <laughs> you envy that chest! <laughs> what do you... Oh. Oh. I get it. <laughs> no! Don't comment! You don't need to get it. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? I'm not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Reen. Do you think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. As for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. Oh, really? Yeah, I couldn't imagine toned up. Like, he's got that cute little innocent face. If he suddenly just had a ton of muscle, like, I think it would look so weird on him. I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. <laughs> exactly. Me and Reen, we're in sync right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Reen? Some kind of scar? Y'all just now noticed? Huh? Oh, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. Don't know how I got it, though. Wow. Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. I can't believe we finished with the exact same time. <laughs> Y'all gonna be best friends. I'm still gonna keep saying that. Y'all two gonna still be best friends. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <sighs> what are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. <sighs> That was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay, Laura, are you ready? I'll time your lap. She's gonna like do this in like ten so seconds. I, doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. Ready and go. She doing it? Impressive. He's impressive. Whew. Well done. Let's see. Twenty points. Oh, that's right. Not bad at all. Those two are still having fun. They're still not speaking to each other. I totally forgot about that. Woo! I I wonder when we're going to confront this though. I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. Well, that came out of nowhere. Uh-oh, races. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True, our times were pretty close. Hmm. About it, Laura. Want to partner up with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge B this time. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. 
I guess that leaves me with Reen. It's your lucky day again. <laughs> She's like Reen, <sighs> my Wait, favorite. Why me? as part of a diet plan. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? All right, guys. Looks like I'm going to have to end the video here. I know. I'm sorry. I'm like stopping it in mid cutscene, but I'm way over my time. It's like cutscene after cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. I, I don't know. And it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. So, I'll... So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys would like to see more, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye!